To create this design, I am going to add a cube, then go to the top view and then scale this cube along the y axis. Then you need to add one more cube and this is our cutter object. Now turn on the wireframe mode and then move this cube along the x axis in this way. Then go to the edit mode and select these words and scale these words along the y axis. Then select these words and scale them along the y axis. Now select all and just adjust the position. Then select the first cube and then add a center loop cut like this and then control B add bevel on it add two segment bevel like this then select this corner edges and we want to add bevel on it but before that press control A and apply the scale and then go to the edit mode and add bevel add one segment bevel after that select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference now just select these words and adjust the position little bit. After that, apply the boolean modifier. Then go to the edit mode and select these words and scale them along the x-axis. Then select this word and move it along the y-axis. We want to make a curve at there. So that's why you need to move these words along the y-axis. After that, select this cutter object and delete it. Then select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry. Now use the knife tool and create cuts like this. Then add loop cut like this. And then select these words and then press J to connect them. Then add one loop cut like this. And then select these faces and delete them. Select the bottom faces also and delete them. Now select this side face and delete it. Now select these edges and use the set flow to maintain the good curve. Then select everything and mesh symmetrize. Then you can select these edges and press F to fill the gap. Select these edges and press F, 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 F to fill the gap and complete that mesh. After that, reduce the scale along the Z axis in this way. So we will get this kind of block out. Now we need to add more loop cuts on it. So add a few loop cuts like this. Then add a few loop cuts here. And then use the knife tool and here create a cord. So we can add loop cuts. And then select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry. And then merge the words by distance. So double words will get merged. And then you need to add loop cuts like this. Now you will get this kind of block out. Then apply the rotation on it. And then add a simple deform modifier on it. Because we want to bend it. Now you need to add one empty plane axis. Then select this object. And here you need to select that empty in the simple deform modifier. Then you need to rotate this cube in this way into 90 degree angle. Then here choose the proper axis to bend it and turn on that bend option and here I will choose the x axis to bend it and I will give 30 degree bending angle for this design then apply the simple deform modifier then delete this empty and rotate it into 90 degree like this so we will get this kind of design here the basic form for the model now I will select this object and I will go to the edit mode then turn on the extra mode and select this bottom words and then press S, Z and give the value 0. Then I will apply the scale on the model and I will add center loop cut like this. Then I will select this edges. Then I will press Ctrl X to dissolve them. Now I will add one loop cut like this and one loop cut like this. And I will select this edges and I will use the shape flow like this. So I will get this kind of curve. After that I will take symmetry, mesh, symmetrize. Then select this bottom edge loops and add bevel on them in this way. Okay. And here you need to add two segment bevel. And now we will merge the words here. Select these words and press M. Merge at the center. Then take the symmetry and dissolve this edge loop like this. Okay. Same thing here also, select these words and press M, merge at center and then dissolve the edge. Same thing at the bottom side, select these words and press M, merge at the center and then dissolve this edge like this. Select everything, mesh, symmetrize, then add one loop cut like this, one loop cut like this. Select these edges and control X to dissolve them. Similarly, add one loop cut here and one loop cut here and then select these edge loops and use the set flaw on them. 
in this way to make the proper curve and you can dissolve this each loops like this now we have this much design I'm going to select these faces and I will scale these faces along the z-axis like this then I will select these edges and I will scale them along the y-axis s, y, 0 and I'll move it like this then select this edge and s, z, 0 scale it along the z-axis and same thing here also select this edge and s, z, 0 select this edge s, y, 0 then use the knife tool and create cut like this and merge words like this then select these words and press M merge at last and then I will select these faces and I will delete these faces then I will select this H and this H and I will press F to fill the gap then I will select these edges and I will extrude them along the z-axis in this way and then S, Z, 0 and then select these words and merge them delete this face also and select these edges and press F fill the gap resolve this edge and select this face and then S, Z, 0 select this face and delete it then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap and then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap Okay, then select these words and press M merge at last. So it will be like this. Then dissolve this H, select this face and S, Z, 0, scale it along the Z axis like this. And same thing we will try to do from the bottom side. So I'm going to select this part here and press P for the selection. After that, isolate it, set origin to this H, which is straight, I hope, S, Z. 0 snap the 3d cursor to it and set the origin to 3d cursor and then select everything mesh symmetrize so it will be like this select this edge loops and control x to dissolve them then here is the remaining part then join these two parts together and select everything press m merge by distance so double words will get merged and then here you need to select these words and merge at last like this remove this edge loop then select these words and press M merge at last remove this edge here and then we need to fill this gap so we can select this edge loop and then this edge loop and press F to fill the gap like this remove this edges and select everything press M merge by distance add 4 new loop cuts here and then connect this words like this then add a new two loop cuts here and then connect them in this way get all this H then hit the control tool to add the sub D modifier and shear smooth it then I will select these faces and I will delete them here also I will select these faces and I will delete them and then I will add loop cut like this and then I will select this edge loops and I will use a set flaw on them to get that perfect curve then we will select this edge loops and I will press F to fill the gap and now we just need to create a good topology over here I can select this words and I can connect them in this way and now I will add one center loop cut and then select this words and press J to connect them in this way we will get this kind of design here I am going to select this edges and I will use the set flow on them to maintain that proper curve then I will select this edge loop in this way and I will add bevel on it shape factor should be 1 and give the proper width here I need to select this words and I need to merge these words in this way then select these words and connect them like this then use the knife tool and create cut like this and uh, redirect that loop structure then create cut at here then select this edge loop and this edge loop and use the set flow and then select these words and connect them like this and create one cut at bottom side also 
then continue this cut and this one also add new edge loop here and redirect this cut then select this edges and control x to dissolve them then i'm going to select this edge and this edge and i will press s z and i will scale it down like this and i will use the edge slide like this so you can get this kind of curve design then i will use the knife tool and i will create a cut like this then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry dissolve this edge and dissolve this edge and add new loop cut add here and new loop cut here select both the edge loops and use the shape flow on them and then you can select this words and connect them or you can select this words here and you can connect them in this way same thing select this words and J to connect them like this then select this edges and add a bevel on them like this then select this words and merge at last in this way then dissolve this H and add loop cut here add loop cut here then select this words and press J to connect them then I'm going to add one more loop cut one more loop cut one more loop cut then I'm going to select this edge loops and I will use the set flow on them then I can select this words and press M merge at center then dissolve this edges in this way and then you can deselect this edge loops and dissolve them like this then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry then select these faces and use the insert operation and then here I'm going to deselect some faces like this and I will press alt s to scale them along the normal like this then I'm going to select one half of the model and I will delete it because we want to go to this side and we want to align this words and just try to make a good curve for curve edge and then select this edge loop and this edge loop and control b add bevel on it like this so you can get this kind of detail now select everything mesh symmetrize and there you go you are going to get this kind of design then you need to select this edge loop and press f to fill the gap and select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry select this words and press j to connect them then here add one center loop cut and then select this words and connect them press J then add two loop cuts like this and then select this words and press J to connect them in this way we can use the knife tool add here and create cut like this and then select everything mesh symmetrize then you can select this edge loop and then control the add bevel on it add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one and give the proper bevel width like this then add one loop cut here and then select this words and press m mosh at the center select this edge loops and control x to dissolve them then select this edges like this and control x to dissolve them select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry then you can select these faces then extrude along the normal extrude inside like this then one more time you can take the insert operation select this edge loop and you can use the edge slide add there then here you can add one loop cut select this edge loop control b add bevel in this way and add one loop cut here we can extend these cuts in this way you can create this kind of design you can see I am going to turn on the matte cap view and cavity also so you can see the retailing here you can see from the top view 
front view, side view, you can see the design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.